This is a 48-year-old female who attempted suicide by overdose, overdosing on acetaminophen. Images demonstrate hyperintense flare signal abnormality within the dorsomedial aspect of the thalami and extending into the midbrain. There is abnormal diffusion restriction at those sites without contrast enhancement. Given the state of clinical history, the findings are most compatible with acute hepatic encephalopathy in the setting of acetaminophen toxicity. Hepatic encephalopathy may be either acute or chronic. Acute cases typically arise in the setting of acute hepatic failure. Chronic cases tend to occur in patients who undergo prior portosystemic bypass without associated intrinsic hepatocellular disease or in patients with hepatocellular dysfunction and portosystemic shunting. In the chronic setting, acute causes such as infection may be found uh, leading to the prominent fulminant presentation. Classic MR imaging abnormalities include high T1 signal intensity within the globus pallidi, with mild cases demonstrating T2 flare, symmetrically hyperintense signal intensity in the insula, thalmi, and posterior limbs of the internal capsules. Diffusion signal abnormality may be present and can reverse if therapy for the underlying acute decompensation is instituted early. The extent and severity of the flare and diffusion weighted imaging correlates with the plasma ammonia level. The presence of cortical T2 flare and diffusion weighted signal abnormalities indicates increased risk of mortality.